Hello and God bless you all today. We are continuing our 30 day study of the book of Psalms. Today we are on day 17. And we're going to be reading 83 through 87, the book of Psalms. Here in Psalm 83 it says, A psalm or song of Asaph. Keep not thou silent, O God. Hold not thy peace, and be not still, O God. For though thine enemies make a turmoil, and they that hate thee have lifted up the head, they have taken crafty counsel against thy people, and consulted against thy hidden ones. They have said, Come, let us cut them off from being a nation, that the name of Israel may be no more in remembrance. For they have consulted together with one accord, they are confederate against thee. The tabernacles of Edom and Ishma the Ishmaelites of Moab and the Hagarines, Gebel and Ammon and Amalek, the Philistines with the inhabitants, inhabitants of Tyre. Aser also is joined with them. They have hope in the children of Lot, Selah. Do unto them as unto the Midianites, as to Sisera, as to Jabin, at the book of Kishron. which perished at Endor, they became as dung for the earth. Make their nobles like Oreb and like Zeb, yea, all their princes at Zeba, and as Zemrna, who said, Let us take to ourselves the houses of God in possession. O oh my God, make them like a will as the stubble before the wind, as the fire burneth a wood, and as the flame setteth the mountains on fire. So persecute them with thy tempest, and make them afraid with thy storm. Fill their faces with shame, that they may seek thy name, O Lord. Let them be confounded and troubled forever, yea, let them be put to shame and perish. That men may know that thou, whose name is alone is Jehovah, art the most high over all the earth. And now we're going to Psalm 84. So the chief musician upon getteth a psalm for the sons of Korah. How amiable are thy tabernacles, O Lord of hosts. My soul longeth, yea, even fainteth for the courts for the, of the Lord. My heart and my flesh crieth out for the living God. Yea, the sparrow hath found a home, and the swallow a nest for herself, where she may lay her young, even thine altars, O Lord of hosts, my King and my God. Blessed are they that dwell in thy house. They will... Be still praising thee, Selah. Blessed is the man whose strength is in thee, in whose heart are the ways of them, who passing through the valley of Becca make it a well. The rain also filleth the pools. They go from strength to strength, even one 
of them in Zion appeareth before God. O Lord God of hosts, hear my prayer, give ear, O God of Jacob, Selah. Behold, O God, our shield, and look upon the face of thine anointed. For a day in thy courts is better than a thousand. I had rather be a doorkeeper in the house of my God than to dwell in the tents of wickedness. For the Lord God is as a sun and shield. The Lord will give grace and glory. No good thing will he withhold from them that walk uprightly. O Lord of hosts, blessed is the man that trusteth in thee. Now on to Psalm 85. To the, the chief musician, a psalm for the sons of Korah. Lord, thou hast been favorable unto thy lands. Thou hast brought back the captivity of Jacob. Thou hast forgiven the iniquity of thy people. Thou hast covered all their sins, Selah. Thou hast taken away all thy wrath. Thou hast turned thyself from the fierceness of thine anger. Turn us, O God, of our salvation, and cause thine anger towards us to cease. Wilt thou be angry with us forever? Wilt thou draw out thine anger to all generations? Will thou not revive us again, that thy people may rejoice in thee? Show us thy mercy, O Lord, and grant us thy salvation. I will hear what God the Lord will speak, for he will speak peace unto his people and to his saints, but let them not turn again to folly. Surely his salvation is nigh them that fear him, that glory may dwell in our land. Mercy and truth are met together, righteousness and peace have kissed each other. Truth shall spring out of the earth, and righteousness shall look down from heaven. Yea, the Lord shall give that which is good, and our land shall yield her increase. Righteousness shall go before him, and shall set us in the way of his steps. <coughs> Pardon me. Now on to Psalm 86, the Psalm of David. A prayer of David, bow down thine ear, O Lord. Hear me, for I am poor and needy. Preserve my soul, for I am holy. O thou my God, save thy servant that trusteth in thee. Be merciful unto me, O Lord, for I cry unto thee daily. Rejoice the soul of thy servant, for unto thee, O Lord, do I lift up my soul. For thou, Lord, art good and ready to forgive and plenteous in mercy unto all them that call upon thee. Give ear, O Lord, unto my prayer, and attend to the voice of my supplication. In the day of my trouble I will call upon thee, for thou wilt answer me. Among the gods there is none like unto thee, O Lord. Neither are there any works like unto thy works. All nations whom thou hast made shall come and worship before thee, O Lord, and shall glorify thy name. For thou art great and doeth wondrous things, thou art God alone. Teach me thy way, O Lord, I will walk in thy truth. Unite my heart to fear thy name. I will praise thee, O Lord my God, with all my heart, 
and will glorify thy name forevermore. For great is thy mercy towards me, and thou hast delivered my soul from the lowest hell. O God, the proud are risen against me. The assemblies of violent men have sought after my soul, and have not set thee before them. But thou, O Lord, art a God full of compassion, and gracious long suffering, and plenteous in mercy and truth. O turn unto me, and have mercy upon me. Give thy strength unto thy servant, and save the son of thy handmaiden. Show me a token for good, that they which hate me may see it, and be ashamed, because thou, Lord, hast opened me, and comforted me. Now on to a psalm 87. A psalm or song for the sons of Korah. His foundation is in the holy mountains. The Lord loveth the gates of Zion more than all the dwellings of Jacob. Glorious things are spoken of thee, O city of God, Selah. I will make mention of Rahab in Babylon to them that know me. Behold Philistia and Tyra with Ethiopia. This man was born there. And of Zion it shall be said, This and that man was born in her, and the highest himself shall establish her. The Lord shall count when he writeth up the people that this man was born there, Selah. As well the singers as the players on the instruments shall be there. And my spirit, my spring, excuse me, are in thee. And there we go. This is day 17. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, give God glory. And God willing, we will be back tomorrow, day 18, where we read Psalms 88 and 89. But like I always say, read the word for yourself. Don't take what I say or anyone else says. Study the word out for yourself. I love you. God bless you. Have a great day.